Well, hi everyone. I've gotten notification from several of you who live in the area who've driven over this bridge and saw some things that you thought were quite concerning relative to the demolition. I want to send a thank you to Josh from Providence for this excellent drone footage that he recorded today on September 27th. So I want to thank Josh with a kayak. There's a couple of Joshes, one Josh with a drone and another Josh with a kayak. He sent me this video and this was a couple months back. You can see they're using a hoe ram, a hydraulic excavator with a hammer attachment. And they're using that to break up the reinforced concrete pile cap that supported a pier at this location doing that to all the existing piers for the westbound bridge. And then I received this video of what they're doing now. They're using this big chunk of metal as a chisel and they're just releasing the line and having it drop right into the water. And uh, there are several safety concerns I'm gonna to touch on here. I mean, that's pretty wild to do something like that next to the eastbound bridge that's carrying six lanes of traffic. And you can see that they're suspending this, this load using a tire. And I don't see how that's possibly consistent with OSHA regulations because apparently they're using this tire as a shock absorber when the weight impacts the pier. But until that happens, this is part of the rigging. So this tire is supporting this heavy mass of steel that's being used as a, as a chisel, as they're calling it. Now, I received information from another confidential source who filed an OSHA complaint about this because he saw it. He's very experienced in the construction industry, and he knows that this is not proper, is what he told me. So this is a letter from people involved with Finagro. This blue here is comments made by this confidential source, and he notes some really important things. He questions the need for any type of shock absorber. He's questioning what kind of rebound occurs to the crane boom once the load uh, impacts the pier. What happens if the chisel gets stuck in the mud? That's a great question. Put a lot of load on the crane boom. I've seen crane booms collapse. Uh, they were getting ready to move a pile hammer off a pile top and the pile top had mushroomed inside the hammer, inside the helmet uh, for the pile driving system. And they were pulling and pulling and pulling and then the crane boom collapsed. So I'll leave this up here. You can pause it if you want to read some of the details, but he's right on the money. And then he got a response from OSHA that basically said, ah, it's fine. So I know there are many people involved with construction contractors out there. Let me know what your thoughts are about using a tire in a situation like this along your rigging. Rhode Island DOT has, I think, misled the public particularly since February about this demolition. They keep calling it a controlled demolition, even in the face of videos that were made public like this. Oh, buddy. This is back in early February, 2025. I mean, complete mess. Now, some of you might say, well, Quit complaining. They're in a hurry. Let them get on with life. Okay. They are undoubtedly creating a huge mess with debris in the channel. Aside from the safety concerns, what impacts are there to the existing eastbound bridge in terms of potential vibration induced damage? You know, Walsh may come in here and say, this is a complete change in conditions. We're concerned about the debris and interfering with our construction operations to do investigative borings for the subsurface to install f foundations in the future. Uh, here's a change order for tens of millions of dollars, or they, they could walk conceivably if it's just too big of a mess. So I think there's a lot of risk here uh, trying to expedite this demolition in what appears to be a rather haphazard fashion. So let me know what you think, everyone, in the comments section. With that, I want to send a shout out to those of you who've contributed to buy me a coffee. That's one of the better ways to support this channel. I also want to certainly thank the channel members and those of you who've provided super thanks, additional great ways to support the channel. So I'll continue as usual to follow up with developments with the Rhode Island DOT relative to the Washington Bridge. So please stay tuned for future videos.